15 years uh, in this area, pool four of the Mississippi, and uh, I can see myself coming here for many more years doing the same thing. All I ever do all day, carve some stones and pave my way. At this point, you're probably wondering, where am I, what am I doing, and how the heck did he get here? My good buddy Murray, he's Hi. hanging out here. Um, I feel like, you know, no, okay, here's the deal. Yes, I'm with Murray, but we're gonna be with some other people too, and um, if we told you everything right now, what's it, the fun in that? We wouldn't even be YouTubers. What's the fun in that? Alrighty guys, we're on a bit of a time crunch here. Um, the light's getting low, the sun's dropping, and uh, we're fishing with two very special guys this week. Um, one being Jeremy, one being Carl. And we just pulled up on a beach here, we dumped in the mighty Mississippi, and um, like I said, we're on a time crunch. So, set up camp really quick, we're gonna rig some rods, get out there fishing, and um, we're gonna talk to Jeremy and Carl a little bit later, because they've been coming down here, fishing here for years, and um, they got kind of a really cool story. So, let's get in the boat, rig our rods, get out there fishing, and um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys then. Alrighty, before we jump out on the river, let's meet these folks really quick. I, like I said, I want to talk to you more when we're back at camp, but Jeremy, nice to meet you. Introduce yourself. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Jeremy Littell. I um, from Minnesota. Well, I'm actually from Wisconsin, but I own Kick-Ass Beef Jerky, and I met you guys um, from Instagram, and was just super excited to be able to have you guys come out to fish with us. We've been doing this now for the last six, about six years, and it's been awesome fishing. And being able to do this with you guys is really, it's going to be something special. Dude, yes, yeah. yes. So like Jeremy said really quick, he's the owner of Kick-Ass Beef Jerky. If you guys have never heard of them, I'll link it all down below. But um, it's basically the new Jack Links. It's freaking delicious. It's, it's wonderful. I've had it many, many times. And like I said, yeah, we'll talk to Jeremy later. His good pal, Carl. Talk to me, Carl. What up, everybody? What are you doing right now? Just rigging rods. This is like a full service motel out here. They help us set no. up our camp. They're rigging our rods for us. No. You guys are the best. No, it's good. Uh, it's just simple catfishing. You got a little river, slip sinker rig. Uh, we caught some shad earlier. That's the key, really. And go, if you're in Minnesota, go get your cast net permit, please. If you have any interest in fishing catfish or sturgeon in Minnesota, go get your cast net permit and make it legit. There's a lot of us who are struggling, struggling to show people that we care about how we catch catfish in Minnesota and this is the best way to do it. Anyway, just a dude who's been fishing the river with a slip sinker rig. Let's crush. That's all Let's it is. Let's crush. That's all it is. So kind. These guys are literally so kind. Um, they help us set up our camp, helping us rig rods. They caught bait all earlier today for us, and um, yeah, so kind. So we're gonna talk to them later. They have a really cool story, and um, I want Carl and Jeremy to kind of talk about uh, kind of how many years they've been coming down here, their whole process, and what even got them into this, because um, they're just they're catfish nuts. So like I said, we're gonna hop out in the boat, get in the river, and um, get our lines wet. She's dug in. We got the digger and she's dug right in. We got the digger. All right, anchor's down. We are sitting in 22 feet of water. Um, we're just gonna kind of play around a little bit. We might sit here for like 20, 30 minutes. If nothing happens, we'll probably move down a little bit deeper water. Murray and myself are by no means knowledgeable at catfishing. Um, we're just we're just kind of following Jeremy and Corey. So yeah, we're just gonna kind of spread out. They're in their boat, we're in our boat. And um, yeah, hopefully we just um, run into a couple here. I'm so hyped. Okay, one thing I need to tell you guys, I'm not a big catfish guy, obviously. So you're probably like, how'd you get this sick catfish shut up? So earlier today, um, kind of last minute deal, right before we came down here, I text my good buddy, Annie Wolfram, and um, I was like, hey man, he's a big catfish nut. I was like, can I borrow a rod? He actually makes custom rods. So he made this whole giant awesome catfish setup. He makes ice rods, he makes bass rods, he makes musky rods, he makes fly rods. So I'll link his stuff all down below, but Andy, huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for letting me borrow your setup. So let's, let's just, it's a waiting game now. Let's wait. Oh my gosh. Murray's hot. Definitely a catfish. That's my biggest, that's close to my biggest catfish. Oh, that got him. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> that a bit, give me some of that. If you guys would like to see that full fish catch, which I highly recommend, go to my channel at youtube.com slash fishingmore. That was sick. Murray's just been crushing them. 
lately. Do you need me to reel in? <laughs> I don't think so. I'll bring more on this side. Murray crushed two cats and a gorgeous barn door. And now I finally hook up. That was sick. I just let my rod sit in there and all of a sudden, what do we got here? Kitty? Kitty, kitty. Come here, kitty, kitty. There we go. <laughs> that was sick. My first cat of the night. Give me some of that, dude. <laughs> oh, you put my light oh. on. <laughs> not a giant, but a decent one to start the evening out. I love it. I'm going to get him right back in the water here. See you, buddy. See you, buddy. Oh, that's number one, boys. That's number one. Oh, we got a ripper. Oh. It doesn't feel that big at all, but that's okay. That was still sick. Feels like a little barn door. <laughs> Stand up here, take my time. Yeah, she's just a little ripper. What do we got? Drum? Drum City? Oh, it's a little barn door. Oh, I love just boat flipping the barn doors. Ha <laughs> ha, drum boys. My first little drum of the trip. Anything that tugs the line though, I love. See ya, buddy. What's going on here? You set the hook before I got the camera on. Well, I was eating Pringles and I was so rudely interrupted why I think a kitty. <laughs> <laughs> you need me to reel up or what are we doing here? No, I think it's okay. What do we got here? <laughs> get up here. Let me see ya. Let me get a good look at you. Barn door or kitty? Barn door. Really? Oh, a little kitty. Was it a kitty? Yeah. Kinda oh. looked weird. Secret species kitty? What's going on don't right now? Don't point that thing at me. <laughs> What's going on right now? You wrecked my head. <laughs> you don't play this on me. This is all you. Oh, that was sick. That was awesome. Murray, how do you think today went? Today was pretty bomb. Today was pretty bomb. Yeah, pretty bomb evening. Um, we showed up here late. We were basically doing computer work all day, so we rolled into um, uh, Red Wing really, really late. Hopped on the mighty Mississippi. Rolled over here, set up the tent quick, went out fishing, um, slayed some catfish, caught some bonus drum, and um, yeah, it was an awesome evening. So now Murray and myself are back. We're just kind of cozying up. It's um, it's a beautiful evening. It's like 65 degrees of some wind. And um, yeah, we're excited to get after it in the morning. So I think we're gonna get a good night's rest and um, hit it hard. So I guess yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll see you guys in the morning. Oh, good morning. It is, uh, it's like 9.30. We all slept in. A ton. Um, I think we just got a lot of fresh air yesterday and it felt so good sleeping outside. Nice cool breeze. We all just slept in. And um, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna make breakfast now. We're gonna just head out fishing. Um, we should probably make the most of our day because I don't even know if we can stay the full day here. So yeah, I think we might just get our stuff together, potentially make breakfast, and then head out there fishing. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I don't know when you're seeing this, but it's morning for us. So good morning. So in the Midwest, people don't cast net too much. Uh, I think there's about 100 people right now registered in Minnesota, 100 people that cast net. But on the coast, it's just the way of life. If you are gonna be a fisherman, you gotta make bait. And making bait with cast net, there's just no better way. And uh, same is true for catfishing, works really well. Pretty, pretty little kitty. Oh, light, light. Both flippers looking for one, one giant flat. Alrighty, after a couple hours of catfishing, um, we ended up with a couple small channel cats, a uh, couple small sheep heads today. 
um, but unfortunately we have to leave. We have to go home. Murray and myself have a couple different meetings with people in the cities, and uh, that means one thing. That means we gotta get out of the Mississippi River, leave our campsite, and head back to civilization. So it's been a blast. Huge shout out and thank you to the wonderful people at Kick-Ass Beef Jerky. Huge shout out to Jeremy, huge shout out to Carl. Um, we've had a blast. The amount of life in the Mississippi River is truly incredible and um, this will not be my last time here. So thank you guys so much. Um, I truly, truly appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. Um, I guess until next time, stay tuned and as always, let the adventure begin. See ya. Shoo!